And speaking of Cincinnati, they're the next opponent for San Diego State. So let's say hello there and good afternoon go. to San Diego State head basketball coach Steve Fisher. Coach, good evening. Gentlemen, how are we doing? We're really good. Yourself? I'm doing good. Scott, what are you going to do if the Pittsburgh coach is not the Pittsburgh coach and he goes to Co- Wisconsin? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, that's uh-huh. like, oh, look at he's looking out for you. I saw that. Coach, I appreciate that. And believe me when I tell you, I'm petrified of that. This whole movement in college football that started with Mike Riley leaving mm-hmm. Oregon State to go to Nebraska, the guy from Wisconsin to go to Oregon State, which most people think he's taking a step back. Um, and, and then I figure, Coach, that they're gonna, Wisconsin's going to go after Paul Christ at Pitt because he's a former Wisconsin assistant. Are you hearing a little buzz about that, Coach? Well, I, I probably heard it on your station, but I, I did hear that he was a former Wisconsin assistant. So that, that seems to be the, the talk. But oftentimes in today's world, the guy most prominently mentioned doesn't wind up with the job. So yeah. maybe you're safe. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. Coach, uh, talk to us about last night's game. I was listening to a lot of it on the radio here on 1090, and a lead, and then they battled back by dropping threes, and then you guys persevered at the end. Just give me a, your thought on what happened last night. We had a game that I thought might might develop the way it did. Uh, most people forget uh, when we played this team last, it was when Jamal was a senior. They came into our place, and we won 74-70 to 70 in overtime. They were led at that time by Casper Ware, a guard who went on to the NBA, and Michael Caffey, the guard they have now, is every bit as good. And I've I watched every game they played, and you probably know they've had a great schedule. They should have beaten BYU. They lost by four, ninety-five to ninety-one. Beat Kansas State, led uh, Washington, a team that smacked us around, fifty-four to forty-five, with about ten minutes to go in the game. And we knew that they were very capable, and they made some they made some hard shots some they made 11 threes which the most any team has made against us this year and we contested i think all but one they they are they're a good basketball team uh we gave them reasons to uh, to hang around we had 12 first half turnovers six of them were charges uh, so it it was a game that uh it was fun to watch if you were a casual fan didn't care who won if you were a coach on either team you agonized <laughs> That's right. Coach Steve Fisher from San Diego State on Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090. Coach, are you starting to find now, and I think last night there were nine guys who played in total, that that you're starting to formulate who those seven, eight, nine, ten guys are going to be? Because prior to that, even that USD game, there I think were 11 guys who played. Are, are you getting it more narrow? Well, I think we played ten guys last night. Maybe it was nine, uh, but uh... – I guess yes and no. All that we played, I, I think they played the, the least amount of minutes was 14 of the guys that we played. So we're still searching a little bit, uh, and it shows a little bit in, in our play. I, I think we're, we're making some, some progress, but we take uh, a couple steps forward, and then we do some things that are uncharacteristic of really good teams and uh, don't do – the kind of ball movement that will get you the best shot. Uh, the consistency we've had is with our defense. You know that. And we've been pretty good with our with our rebounding. And we've been great getting to the free throw line. We just haven't uh, shot the percentage that a great <laughs> right. team needs to shoot. But we, uh, going into going into last night's game, we were we had shot I think eight or ten or we shot we had our, we had made more than our opponents had shot and last night we shot twenty five, only made sixteen, and Long Beach shot and made two. Yeah, that's uh, that's a very big statistical difference in favor of San Diego State. I think for me, what I was encouraged about last night was as the game becomes close, and they're making their run. It's the, it's the veteran players like Poli who had 16 points last night, Winston who had 10 points, Skyler had eight, J.J. had eight. It, it's, it's the main guys who stepped up last night. I would agree with that. Uh, down the stretch, the last six to seven minutes, we had a – I don't believe we had a freshman on the floor at the time. And yet I'm very comfortable and confident that if we put a freshman out there that he'll be able to perform – but we had a, a group of guys that uh, that were juniors and seniors and fifth-year seniors, some of them, 
that uh, made plays. Uh, what what happened with us last night, Scott? Was uh, when we got behind by eight with about six minutes to go, uh, we made we made a a big play. I think Poli made a made a basket, and it seemed to spark and generate something for the rest of that game. We looked a little more comfortable with uh, with our shots. Uh, and the fact that we they looked like they felt they were going to go in. And sometimes it, it, it looks as if they're hoping that they'll go in. So I was, I was pleased. I was encouraged. I was very, very excited when we won the game because this is a good team we beat. But the last eight minutes we had one turnover, and we did a lot of really good things at both ends of the floor. Coach Steve Fisher on Scott Mirror on the Mighty 1090. So, coach, at the end of the game, I mean, how how was the how was the talk you gave the team? Was it was it pretty much inspirational? Was it was it we got to correct mistakes? What did you tell your guys? When when you win, and I said this after the game, a lot of times when you win, when everybody's telling you, "Oh, you're supposed to win, you should win, you will win," there is a sense of relief when you win a close game. Last night when we won that game, we, we bound into the locker room with, with energy and enthusiasm and, and excitement. And I like that. Uh, that's the way it should be. When you win, you should celebrate the victory. There's time enough to, to correct the things that you're not doing. And, and we'll get into all of that. But I like the, the feeling in the locker room immediately after the game. And I told them that. Uh, they were happy. They knew they beat a pretty good team. And I don't know where Long Beach will, will finish in the Big West. They were picked, I think, third or fourth. But they're good. They're good. They're on Murder's Row right now. They got they have road trips, as you know, Texas, Louisville, Syracuse, yeah. and I think one other. And you look, I mean, I've talked about some that they've already played. So they've got a brutal schedule that if they don't get beat up uh, too badly, I think they'll be they'll be very very competitive and with a great chance to win the Big West. Coach, tonight, uh, as Billy Ray and I and Linda are here at on the border Mission Valley, there is the Steve Fisher Coaches Show tonight, and I want to just let everybody know that from what I was told, you got to check me on this, that you will be here tonight at on the border Mission Valley, you and Coach Cantera here in the restaurant. So if fans want to come down. Tonight's their night. Is that right? That is right, Scott. Uh, tonight is our first uh, live uh, arrangement where we'll both be down to do the show. So I'm excited about it. We did that four or five times last year. This is the first and probably right in the area where you guys are right now. So if we have Aztec fans that are looking to come out and have a great meal, sandwich, whatever it might be, uh, and participate with us, we'd love to have you. The hamburguesa. The, coach, you should have the you should have the cheeseburger. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Yeah, we, we all had a little bit of mm-hmm. that. Uh huh. Well, I think I might have to order that. Thank you very much for the for the advice. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll give you a different menu item next time we talk because I mean, I like the whole menu here. I'm trying to work my way through it. Right. But the cheeseburger here is remarkably good. I don't know what the deal is, but it's well, really good. You you guys are connoisseurs. You get a lot of the free stuff, so I know you know what's good. <laughs> We'll leave you a margarita, too. <laughs> I better pass on that, B.R. Okay. We've got, the, we've got the San Diego State Athletic Department uh, holiday Christmas party right after us, so I'm going from the, from the show to the to the San Diego State get-together. Oh, he yeah, is gotcha. all over the place. What time tonight? Do we know what time? Is, it's at 6 o'clock. So right six at 6 o'clock, o'clock when, when, so we we'll get done, when we get done, Coach Quintera and Coach Fisher – talking Aztec basketball, hear it on the border of Mission Valley. Mm-hmm. And if you're a huge Aztec fan and you want to come down, shake Coach's hand, take a picture, listen in. Uh, tonight's the night, Mission Valley, on the border of the Coach's Show with Coach Fisher and Coach Quintera. Coach, congratulations on a great win last night, and we'll look forward to have uh, hear what you say about the upcoming opponent, Cincinnati, when we tune in tonight at 6 o'clock. Thank you very much, guys. And, Scott, I'm with you 100%. I got excited when I heard that Matt Kemp uh, – was probably going to be a Padre. Uh, I mean, I'm excited to watch him play. He's a terrific player. He's a, he, he's a star who will uh, excite the fans. And bring, I think he will do what you said. He's going to bring people into that stadium, and that's that'll be fun. Coach, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Okay, gang, see you later. Bye, Linda. All right. Bye. See you, see you soon.